$281 plus $516 plus $740 plus $939 for the low income in the form of food stamps, otherwise known as SNAP benefits. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I do want to talk about money going out every single month to about 43 million low income Americans all across the country in the form of food stamps, otherwise known as SNAP benefits, Supplemental Nutrition assistance program. Now, this is very important to understand because all 43 million beneficiaries recently got a very substantial raise to benefits. And I do want to talk about that here in the video because I do know a lot of you here in the community also do receive SNAP benefits. And this is very important because if you're not receiving the maximum benefit, those amounts that I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video, you probably want to pay attention because I want to help you grab as much of this money as you possibly can because we all understand prices continue to go up on everything. And we know food is getting very very expensive right now. So let's get into it and discuss this a little bit further. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. As I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm here for you right by your side every single day, doing all the necessary research and watching all this new information hitting the wire, breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay tuned with what is actually going on and what's out there right now that you can possibly grab and or take advantage of, including including money, benefits, raises to benefits, checks, programs, stimulus, or anything else like that. Of course, I truly want to help you out in any way that I possibly can. So again, please subscribe down below so you don't miss any videos going forward. And I'll continue to be here for you right by your side every single day. That's my dedication and commitment. And as always, I'm sticking to it. All right, thanks again. Let's jump into it and talk about the $281 up to $939 on average every single month for the low income right now going in through this next year as well. So recently, just a few weeks ago, we got a raise to these monthly benefits. Now, again, this is all based on the fiscal year for the federal government, which starts as of October 1st. So I know we don't follow the traditional calendar year for the federal government, but rather we follow the fiscal year, which is October 1st through September 30th. That is the fiscal year for the federal government. And that is when SNAP benefits do increase every single year. Well, as of just a few weeks ago, as of the start of October, we did get a pretty substantial raise to SNAP benefits. In fact, they went up 12.5% for all beneficiaries. This is not something you need to apply for. This is not something you need to call about. This is not something you need to resubmit an application for. This automatically gets added to your monthly benefits. So pretty nice right there, right? That's actually a pretty substantial raise for a lot of beneficiaries. However, as a result of the new benefit going out now, the, uh, the maximum benefit for an individual right now is $281 every single month. However, here's what's interesting about it. Even though the maximum benefit is $281 for an individual, the average beneficiary out there right now gets about $197 every single month. So you can see here, that is what the average beneficiary is getting, about 197, even though the maximum is 281 for an individual. Now again, a household of two people would be $516 every single month. And again, you can kind of see here, that's substantially less than what to, uh, $281 for an individual would be doubled, right? So for example, if you were to take two individuals getting 281 per month uh, you know, individually, if you were to multiply that by two, it would actually be, what is that, $562, uh, provided my mental math is correct, uh, that'd be $562 every single month for two people. However, as you can see here, if there's a couple, as in a household of two people, they all of a sudden get $516 where is the discrepancy? Does, does that make any sense to anybody, right? Why a household of two people would get $516, whereas two individuals would get 281 maximum multiplied by two, the 562 per month, right? So there's a discrepancy of about $45 or so. So again, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but that is the new number as of right now. Now, really quickly, a household of three people would be getting up to $740 every single month. That is the maximum you can get as a household of three people and a maximum uh, amount for a household of four people is $939 right now 
as a result of the new maximum benefit that has been introduced as a result of the 12.5% raise as of October 1st as well. Now, again, the numbers do continue to go up. A household of five, a household of six, seven, eight, nine. The household uh, sizes continue to go up. And of course, the dollar amounts continue to go up as well. But a maximum uh, household size, again, with that maximum benefit of $939, again, encompasses most households out there. And again, if you wanted, I guess I could come back in a separate video and talk about these in higher dollar amounts for the uh, for more people in the household. But again, I think that it does encompass the vast majority of people right there. So I think that's probably pretty su sufficient to talk about that. However, now I wanna talk about some other details here because some of you here in the community, I know for a fact are eligible for SNAP benefits and you may not have applied for this, but here's what it comes down to. Somebody is essentially eligible for SNAP benefits provided your household income as in gross income, not net income, gross income, and it could be income from anything. It could be income from uh, from a earned income from a job, working say nine to five or nine to two or nine to noon, it literally doesn't matter. You could be working full-time or part-time. It could be earned income from that. It could be earned income from a side hustle. It could be income from social security, retirement, SSDI, survivors, SSI, VA, any of these fixed income benefits, it doesn't matter. All of this is counted as income. But here's what it comes down to. You could be eligible for SNAP benefits provided your gross income is 130% or less of the federal poverty line. So that's basically what they determine as somebody who's eligible for SNAP benefits. Now, if your income, as in your gross income, is above 130% of the federal poverty line, you're probably not going to be eligible for benefits. Just saying, okay? That's just kind of the threshold that they have right there. Now, here's what else is interesting about this. As I was doing more digging into this, they would actually anticipate that 30% of somebody's net income is, is actually going to be spent on food. To me, that seems like a really high number. So for example, now again, there's a few different numbers here that I want to break down for you because this is all very important to understand. So let's just say that your monthly income is $1,000, as in gross income is $1,000, right? That is the gross income. However, let's just say that your net income is, say, $800. Again, I'm just using some round numbers here for some example purposes. But your gross income, again, is $1,000. Your net income is $800. They would anticipate that 30% of your net income, as in 30% of $800, which would be $240, according to my mental math, would be essentially spent on food every single month, right? To me, that seems really high, but maybe it's not. But based on everything that's going on right now and high prices on food, that's probably not too far out of the realm of what is actually going on right now as far as how much a person would really spend on food. So realistically, that's probably not too far-fetched to, th to actually think that somebody who has a gross income of, say, $1,000 a month and net income of, say, $800 a month is probably going to be spending about $240 a month on food. That's probably not too far off, right? That's actually about, what is that even? Six, it's about $60 a week. So yeah, six, is that even right? Six times four? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I was just running the math right there as I was kind of talking through it. And I guess that definitely makes sense there. $60 a week is really not that much money, right? To spend on food. That's not going to get you much these days, right? Food has gone up substantially. In fact, just over the last one year alone, food prices are up about 14%. So basically, if you were to go out to the grocery store a year ago and spend, say, $100 on whatever you were buying, if you were to go back today and buy those same items, the exact same items that you bought one year ago for $100, it now cost you $114 to buy the same old things not uh, taking into consideration shrinkflation, which we're all dealing with as well, which by the way, that's a little hidden thing that they don't want you to know about. Let me quickly tell you what shrinkflation is as well. So shrinkflation is the new form of uh, basically what, you know, what some of these manufacturers and companies are now doing, which is essentially they're sending us, uh, basically what they're doing is they're, they're selling the same product for the same price, but yet they're giving us less in the package size. So for example, let's just say maybe a year ago you were buying say three ounce package of cheese. Again, I'm just giving you a quick example. Again, I don't really have any specific examples. I'm just giving you an example of something how the, uh, this could actually work out. So here's what it would come down to. Let's just say that you were to buy a three ounce package of cheese for say $3. Now today you could go out and buy that same uh, package of, tree, of cheese, $3, but guess what? It's no longer three ounces. Now it's 2.6 ounces. You know what I mean? So you're getting less product, you're getting less uh, volume of the item that you want for actually the same price. That is shrinkflation and that is something that's really happening right now. So 
At the same time, we're paying higher prices for less. Thank you very much. Just what we all love to do, right? Uh, but anyway, when it comes down to it, if you have not applied for SNAP benefits, I would highly recommend you do so. Now, again, as well, you should be receiving your higher benefit again as of October 1st, when that new raise went into effect, the 12.5%, your benefits should have automatically be raised as a result of that. Now, again, I do understand this much as well. As a result of the annual cost of living adjustment, we also understand this much that your benefits may be decreased or garnished a little bit because now your income has gone up. And again, as a result of that, they may adjust your SNAP benefits as well. It's gonna be unique for everybody's situation. It's gonna be a little bit different for everybody's situation, but your SNAP benefits may be reduced a little bit because of the COLA raise to your monthly benefits if you're somebody receiving fixed income benefits like Social Security, Retirement, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA, any of these benefits, if your benefits have gone up as a result of the COLA, then remember your SNAP also may be reduced a little bit. But again, that's gonna be unique to each individual's per, uh, situation. But here's the thing, if you're not receiving the maximum benefit right now and you believe that your income is 130% or less of the federal poverty line, again, your gross income is at that level or less, even significantly less than that, if you're not receiving the maximum benefit, you may want to have a call to your local human services office and have a conversation with them and see what they can do about your situation. And again, maybe they need to reassess your situation. Maybe they need to re-examine your eligibility. Maybe they need to look into your situation and think, okay, maybe it's time to reassess and see if you're eligible for more benefits. Now, I do know that there are periodic uh, examinations of everybody's situation to see your eligibility and how much you're eligible for. But again, maybe things have changed here over the last five, six, seven months, and maybe it would be time and maybe it'd be worth it to look into it and actually do a further examination into your uh, situation to see maybe you're actually eligible for more benefits than you actually realize, hopefully capturing that 800, sorry, $281, not 800, I said that wrong. I meant to say $281 maximum benefit for an individual or $516 maximum benefit for a household of two individuals, 740 for a household of three people or the 939 for a household of four people. Anyway, check out your local office. Otherwise, I will give you the phone number here really quickly if you wanna call. This is an automated system. It'll connect you with your local office after you tell them which state you're located in, and it might be worth having a conversation to see if you can get your benefits boosted up if you're not getting that maximum benefit. And like I said, the maximum or the average beneficiary right now is getting $197 as an individual. So this is pretty substantially below the maximum benefit for uh, an individual on a monthly basis. But anyway, that phone number is 1-800-221-5689. Again, it's an automated system. You just tell which state you're located in and it'll connect you with your local office. Again, 1-800-221-5689. 1-800-221-5689. So I hope this one helps you out, but these are the dollar amounts that are going out as of right now. As of October 1st, 2022, the new raise get, uh, went into effect a few weeks ago. This has already gone into effect, and I want to bring this to your attention because it's pretty important. These, uh, these benefits have increased in a pretty substantial way, and if your income is well below the federal poverty line, you should be getting a pretty substantial portion of that maximum as well. So you may want to look into that because I do know food is very expensive right now and it continues to go up as we continue to see with all these latest inflation reports that continue coming out. We still see shelter and food is still rising. Not a good situation. Anyway, hope this video helps you out. Please leave your comments, your questions, and your feedback down below. I do my best to read as many as possible. And again, I do respond to as many as possible, as well as make dedicated videos where I see fit to help out as many of you as I can when I continue to see the same questions coming up time and time again. So until next time, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, have a nice day. Enjoy, and I hope this one helps you. I truly want to do whatever I can to keep you updated and to help you out in any way that I possibly can, I'm maximizing your benefits and getting as much as you possibly can. All right, until next time, enjoy your day, and I'll catch you again later.